control matrix. Um, we're not going to do this, um, but uh, one of the things, one key way that auditors are documenting um, their understanding of internal controls is through flowcharts, um, as well as narratives and questionnaires. So uh, I used to have my class do flowcharts. I promise you we won't do that. But a flowchart is a visual way of being able to kind of, as I said, taking that control matrix, for example, and identifying the particular area that you're looking at and just seeing how those documents are flowing through the system to determine it's a good way to identify, one, are there any potential segregation of duties issues? Are there any situations where controls are lacking or absent? Um, other things would be questionnaires. And if you look in your textbook, in the appendices, um, I think it, uh, in the uh, appendices to this chapter on uh, control risk, you'll see an example of uh, an IC questionnaire, internal control questionnaire. And that's pretty standard across audits. You'll see the same thing uh, when we talk about revenue and when we talk about expenditures. You'll see internal control questionnaires in the, in the appendices there. Um, uh, auditors, as I said, they're required to assess internal controls, right? Assess the effectiveness of internal controls. It is the auditor's decision whether or not they actually test internal controls. Um, two, two reasons. Uh, internal control system is not, is not effective, right? So if it's not effective, why test it? And if you conclude by doing your walkthrough that you can't rely on internal controls, there's no point in testing controls. Um, they can also decide that it may take more time to test controls than it would to perform more substantive tests, right? So they might say it is more efficient for us to look at just perform the substantive test. Maybe the client's system, uh, IT systems are not uh, that good, you know, uh, maybe just going through the data collection for testing internal controls is not as efficient. So they would decide that it makes more sense to just do more substantive testing. Um, but if it's a publicly held company, the auditor must test internal controls. So if 